So here's a Dynagen controller uh, used on Aurora generators. And I wanna set up the um, glow plug. Um, perhaps you're in some cooler weather or cold weather and the engine needs uh, uh, glow plugs to turn on before cranking to help it start in cold weather. So let's go into the menu by making sure the engine is off, pressing enter, going under timers and finding the engine logic menu and then preheat mode. Preheat mode is on, we turn it on, it's, it's, we make it a timer and uh, we tell it that the crank time is, uh, sorry, the preheat time is eight seconds. We find that more than enough for starting a generator in cold weather. You may not need it perhaps if you're in Florida or Texas, well, depending on the weather. Um, you might want to increase this up to 10 seconds, but it's a really heavy drain on the battery and we found eight seconds to work out just fine. If I wanted to change it, I could just scroll up and scroll down and press enter, puts a little check mark, enter again, I get out of the menu. That's the preheat time, crank time. You know, how long should the engine crank? In this case, six seconds. I find that again, more than enough. If the engine hasn't started in six seconds, I wanna give that starter a rest and the battery a rest as well. I don't need it cranking larger than six, longer than six seconds. We had it at three seconds once uh, in the past, but we found sometimes it would not start in three seconds. So we increased it to six. Uh, mid heat is, uh, uh, should the glow plugs be on during cranking? No, we don't like that. Crank reset time, how long should uh, we wait before we try and crank again? Um, or crank attempts, uh, fuel in rest, should the engine fuel pump continue running when it is not running? Uh, no, we don't need to build up pressure, we don't need it running, it's not, uh, um, there's no need for it in most of our generators. RPM disconnect, when should the starter disconnect, when should it stop you know, uh, cranking the engine because it detected the engine is running at 650 RPM or greater? Uh, we're not going to touch that. Post heat, do you want the glow plugs on after the engine started? Mm, maybe if you're in northern Canada, <coughs> excuse me, it may help uh, the engine uh, run a little bit better in the beginning when it's cold. Um, you can have it on for up to a minute. False uh, restart times, false checks. I don't want to play around with too much of this stuff here, uh, especially cool down, warm up time. They're not going to change the engine speed. They're not going to uh, uh, determine whether something should connect to the generator or not. They're just telling the controller how long to wait before it uh, pays attention to certain centers, sensors during warm up or uh, you know start up and shut down. What I really wanted was the crank disconnect and the glow plug time to set that uh, whether I want it on and off and for how long. You can always back out, back to the beginning of the menu, and we're done.